I'm here in beautiful Margot with Gonzac. We've just had an amazing tasting, beautiful conversations about Chateau Dufour Vivant. So, Gonzac, I just want to ask you three really easy, simple questions. First of all, who are Chateau Dufour Vivant? What, what are the origins? Where did it come from? Uh, so, it's a very long story coming from the 14th century, a long, okay. long history. Uh, history of the, the classified growth, 1855. Long history in my family as well, because my great grandfather started the history in 37, uh, and now then my father in 61. So uh, we have a very long and deep relationship, as we would say, with this uh, this property, with this vineyard, with this terroir, mm -hmm. and uh, and some specificity of the four vivants, which are very maybe make the difference from others. Mm -hmm. uh, first, maybe. Uh, the quantity uh, in general we express the Cabernet Sauvignon in Margot. Yes. Uh, we have the, the, the highest level of Cabernet Sauvignon in, in the appellation, so it gives a, a style yep. to, to uh, with, with a lens, with uh, uh, something that is quite tight and, and long, and uh, that's very. Uh, I'm one sorry, of the I felt them extremely yeah, long in the tasting. And uh, one of the specificities we have. That we were pioneer in uh, biodynamic uh, yes. practices in, uh, in mm -hmm. Margot, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started in, uh, slowly in 2009, but we moved 2012 100%. So it's now in 10 years for us. Right. So it's one of uh, the, the specificities specific as well. And I would say the third thing, which is very different from the other, is the way we age the wine. Okay. And you saw when we visited the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the cellar, the cellar uh, we had the wine in barrel and in uh, terracotta. Amazing, amazing. So now that we're speaking about style, you said that you are the, the pioneers of uh, biodynamic practices in, in, in Marco. Um, so what made you decide to go biodynamic? Was it just by chance? Did you want to jump on the trend uh, of being biodynamic? How, how did that? In fact, I discovered it, uh, I would say by chance, because one of my uh, friends invited me at a tasting at Bayonne okay. wines from all over France. Mm -hmm. And my tast the tasting was very interesting because I won't say that the wine were better in average. And uh, it's a term you used before, mm -hmm. many were a little funky. Funky, yeah. but, I agree. <laughs> but, what, but what I love is that they have this, uh, this acidity, this tension, this brightness of fruit, mm -hmm. I love. And I say this is the key uh, to produce much better wine in your form. So I try, I was not like, you know, it was not for me like a philosophy or whatever. Okay. I said this is a fantastic tool probably. See. I have to try. And I try, and what is interesting is that I get the results I expected, and maybe more. Really, and I also noticed you don't um, really showcase biodynamic wines on, on, on the label of the bottle. I think there's a very small label at, at the back. Is there a reason behind that? Well, why don't you do you really advertise yourselves as being biodynamic, biodynamic or is it not? Uh, no, in that? fact, it's for, for us. Uh, my my goal is to produce the best of all events possible, and uh, for me, biodynamic is a tool. So it's not I yes. don't sell biodynamic. I sell just for events. And yes. if people are interested to know about that, they can see on the back label, we, we have is a, a, a certification. certification. That is for people who are interested in that. We don't sell by the name. <laughs> Amazing. Um, my next question mm -hmm. for you is, what is the future for Chateau de Vivant? Uh, in fact, what is nice in, the, in this job, I would say, is that there is always something to learn. Now, the big thing for us is to rediscover our soils. Okay. And so we work on uh, trying to work on many uh, uh, cover crop, trying to figure out what will be the good one for the good plots. Yes. To, uh, to have a, a work which, which is very uh, singular for each plot. Okay. So we don't work all the vineyard together. We try to, to consider each plot as one different individual. And so it's, it's, uh, for us it's very uh, demanding. Mm -hmm. And for the team it's very demanding, but also it's very exciting because you, you can produce something which is very unique. I think there's a bright future for you. First of all, I want to thank you once again for the tasting, and it was an extremely interesting discussion about biodynamic, about um, the, the, the sun and the moon and, and, and you know, the, whole, uh, the whole calendar, but it's not the make all and end all for you. So it's not just about the calendar, it's about you, your passion, and 
the calendar. So I really want to thank you for that. It was an extremely amazing um, and knowledgeable experience for me. And um, hopefully we'll be back soon. Thank you. Thank you.